Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Galaxy Infotech Private uh, Limited tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show you how to enable VPC peering between two uh, VPCs within, uh, within an account. And uh, with this example, you can able to enable between the two different uh, AWS accounts also. It is not, it doesn't make any much difference. Okay. So if you see here, I have two servers. One is demo server, another one is Velaxi server. And uh, demo server I have launched under a VPC called 2B4. Uh, the name of this VPC is demo VPC. And uh, Velaxi server has been launched under uh, VPC ends with A0E. And it is under VPC called uh, Velaxi VPC. So I will show you these two VPCs over here. So my VPCs, total I have three VPCs, demo VPC, which is ends with 2B4, Galaxy VPC, A0E. So these two are two different VPCs and if you see, see the IP range also, it starts with 172.20, it starts with 10.0. And if you see the server IPs as well, demo server is having a pub private IP called 172.20.1.238 and uh, Velaxi VPC server is having IP range starts with 10. Now I have logged into demo server. This is my login session. I have logged in and this is my demo server IP address. And from here, I'm trying to connect to the Velaxi server with the private IP. So as of now, I haven't done any VPC peering communication, so it cannot communicate with uh, uh, 10 series from 172 series. I hope you know, and uh, if you are not familiar with VPC or networks, please uh, I'll go through those because this session is only to show you how the VPC peering is going to work. Now, uh, VP, to do VPC peering, there are two steps. First, you need to request for VPC peering. Second step is to uh, add uh, networks in the route, route table. So let me, let's do the first step, uh, requesting for VPC peering. For this, go to your VPC. Under VPC, you have peering connections. Here you need to go and request for peering connection. Create peering connection. I'm going to request from Velaxi or demo demo VPC to Velaxi VPC peering. Okay, I'm requesting. So my source would be demo VPC. From here, I'm requesting 172 to 172.20 series to and another VPC also in my account. Assume that another VPC is not in your account, you need to choose another account and that account ID uh, you need to provide as well as another account uh, server, uh, sorry, another account uh, VPC ID also you should provide. But in our case, we have VPC within our account. So my account, and if you click here, the drop down, select Velaxi VPC. Now create VPC peering connection. And if you refresh, you could see the peering connection. Okay, this is old peering connection. I have removed it. And this is our new one. Demo VPC to Velaxi VPC. And it is under pending acceptance. So select your VPC peering action and accept request. Accept it. Now uh, your peering connection has been accepted and it is in active state. This is first step. First step is requesting peering connection. Second step is you need to go to your uh, VPC's route table and add a peering connection to uh, establish the communication. So go to route tables. It is taking a while because of um, internet connection. Yeah. So if you see here, this is my demo VPC and this is my Velaxi VPC. I created just public subnets. 
if you don't know how to create vpcs go through our lecture uh, on how to create vpcs okay right so public uh, demo vpc and go to route tables here edit it and uh, you are you want to accept communication from Velaxi VPC. So you need to give the Velaxi VPC CIDR range in this route table. So our Velaxi VPC CIDR range, if you uh, remember, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. This is Velaxi VPC. So what I'm trying to uh, do is I'm accepting this connections, nothing but communication from this IP ranges through vpc peering if you see here i am removing it and added here demo vpc velaxi vpc peering and save it so same thing you need to do in the all the subnets uh, from where you want to communicate with one vpc to another vpc but uh, in this case we have only one uh, vpc for sorry one subnet for demo vpc i have added over here same thing you need to do in the other vpc also nothing but in this vpc you need to accept demo vpc id cidr range so demo vpc cidr range is 10.20.0.6 0.0 16 so go here edit it it's taking a while and if you see here it was not happening and after you have done this communication, you should be able to communicate it. Right. So add another route table. This is the range and VPC peering. Save it. So I hope my com communication is uh, ready. Sorry, my connections are ready. So let me try to do this one. Hold on, let it get completed. All right it's done now so if i give yes i could able to log in and you can see here this was your uh, uh, server and from here to you could able to log into the 10 series server that is how vpc peering will work and the same thing you need to do in if you are doing across two different accounts also right uh, thanks uh, for watching this video and hope this video is going to helpful for you and if you wish to uh, See this type of videos more. Please subscribe us. Thank you